are, this is the most important question. According to me, the challenge starts from the perspective of people who are involved, the perspective of participants in the virtual court process, the perspectives of lawyers who are practicing in different courts, appellate as well as original. This is one of the biggest challenges uh, which we face insofar as virtual court is concerned. There's an idea called geographical hegemony, which is lawyers who practice in a certain area. They get cases from that area and they believe that a opening up the system to a virtual platform would mean that anyone can access from anywhere and therefore would your jobs be gone. This is a difficulty which people had whenever technology disrupted an existing system. For example, you would remember when computers started, people you know, apprehended, will I lose my job? Will computers take away my job? This is an apprehension we have towards anything that's unknown, any technology that comes in which is unknown, you have this uh, tension inside people. So it's, you can't blame them for that. But at the same time, actually, one should understand that if you open up the system, as much as there are difficulties of you know people replacing you, there is also an opportunity. Like they say, the Chinese alphabet of calamity actually is the same alphabet for opportunity as well. So therefore, whenever there is a difficulty, say that's what they did when they brought up virtual courts when COVID came. Just that uh, there are you know certain difficulties which people would face when a virtual court system displaces. In case it displaces uh, an existing physical court system, some, some people might apprehend loss of job, but at the same time, there is a lot of opportunity that comes in along with this. And that, I think, is one of the greatest uh, you know, barriers in bringing in a virtual court system. Similarly, the, the much more practical barrier is actually the, the technology, the access to technology that a, a place like India has. But that is, uh, you know, over a period of time, it has changed. Courts are more and more equipped with technology these days. And uh, this uh, COVID pandemic has actually accelerated that process of changing our courts into courts which are also uh, tuned with the technology of the time. And that way, I think this uh, disadvantage is being taken care of. Uh, so I, according to me, there are two disadvantages. One is the perspective of people, and second is technological difficulties in a country like India.